Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is just going to be my next season outlook for the NHL, and this is going to be on the San Jose Sharks as we're wrapping up our season preview slash outlooks here. They started off pretty good. Martin Jones had a pretty good showing in the first game of a 4-3 win against the Arizona Coyotes. In the second game, not as much of the 5-3 loss. However, they have had good play from youngsters. Uh, Mario Ferraro's playing with Brett Burns, getting over 22 minutes a game, and has looked good out there on the ice. He was able to pot an assist thus far. Uh, Nikolai uh, Kuznov, also uh, with uh, Redeem Simic, uh, has looked pretty good out there in a limited uh, stretch of play in his two games. So good to see young guys being able to step in. Uh, Noah Gregor has looked good in his uh, little stretch of play in 13 minutes of time. Uh, still obviously has shown some rawness, but has looked like he might be able to develop into a solid bottom six piece. And then John Leonard uh, has looked amazingly good. Um being able to get two assists uh, so far and just looking very present on the ice. The former six-round pick from 2018 from UMass Amherst has really been able to make an established uh, name for himself so far early on after coming right up from UMass Amherst as a six-round pick. So that's a huge compliment to him to being able to get right into playing with Hurdle. And Kane, who's having the best star for the San Jose Sharks in four points already on the season. This is a team that's going to be very fun and very scrappy to watch. How far they're going to go is going to obviously depend on how good guy the guys in net are able to do. How good Devin Dubnik's able to bounce back. Is Nabokov going to be able to get the best out of Devin Dubnik? Or... Is he still going to kind of struggle bunny like he did at last year and he's not getting any younger? Martin Jones, of course, needs to be bounced, bounced back. He's been struggling the last two years after the three years before. He was one of the more consistent guys in net in the league. So it would be nice to see what he's able to do this year. If he's able to play more like he did in the first game compared to the second, then they'll be in a pretty good spot. And then you have to see how the guy like a Ferraro, a Kuznov, the guys... Um, like the Gregors of the world, the John Leonard's of the world, how those guys are able to really come and do well and how they're able to play. So, I mean, I think that's a key. I think the biggest key for them is how their youngsters do and how the guys in net do. They also have Alexi Melnichuk, who has come over, and he's on their taxi squad. He looks like a pretty solid undrafted pickup that could become a steal for the Sharks. He had a 2.68 and a 9.12 in the KHL playing for Torpedo, out there looking really, really good. Actually was able to watch some of their games on the KHL uh, feed I get from the one station we get. Uh, he looked uh, really, really good. And um, it's a guy that I think is going to develop into at least a backup, but I think he has the chance of being a starter. And also, I forgot to say this, I have to remember saying at the beginning of the video, please like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell, everybody. And I'm also going to have my Sharks article linked in the description that I hope you would check out as well. But I think this team's going to be fun. I think they're going to show progression um, here in their uh, team, and they're going to show some steady progression from last year. I think they're a team that's going to, unfortunately, though, miss the playoffs because they're still figuring it out um, on defense with some young guys. Uh, they're going to have Ferraro uh, emerge in. They're going to have to hope guys like Burns and Carlson stay healthy throughout the entire season, which we pray they do. And then Simic and Kuznov, how's that line going to continue to do throughout the season? Are they going to form a very nice uh, third pairing, or is that going to come down to earth? Uh, what's going to happen there, I think? And then Middleton also, if he's put in uh, for the third pairing as well, how is that youngster going to play? So I think their key is really how are the youngsters going to fit in with their key veterans that they already have? Obviously, in the Logan Coutures of the world, the Kevin LeBanks of the world, the Timu Myers of the world, and the Tomas Hurdles and Evander Kane's of the world. It's how they're going to fit in and how their key addition, new addition of uh, Ryan Donato is going to fit in, who actually looked really good in the second game in the losing effort, uh, being able to be very present, got off a lot of nice wrist shots there, and was able to pot a goal. So I think it's really going to be dependent on how the youngsters look and how the veterans are able to play this year bouncing back. Couture's going to need to have a bounce back year. You're going to want to see a bounce back year from him, their leader, and that's going to be key as well. But this has been the Shark Season Outlook. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the hockey, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick. Peace out.